three carryovers. She she had three carryovers and she guided them with two one. Are you kidding me? Yeah. IDP IDP when I met her, IDP was um uh, one is it one point eight now or so? Oh seriously? Yeah, she guided them with two one. That is a non level. I she mean, had one point eight nine yeah. is like third class. Third class. Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ajibke Kukola. If you are new here, I want to say a very big welcome to you. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always being here. So yes, in today's episode, I have someone amazing with me. I mean, someone so special and amazing. So today we'll be talking about um, academic excellence in summary and then how to balance other things and then how to um, excel in your academics and at the same time being able to do other things so after the short break i would come in with my guest and i would make a proper introduction welcome to my youtube channel <laughs> back again to my youtube channel thank you so much for joining me all right so as you can see already i have with me my guest and the person of yeah his name is mr Tunde. yes i call him mr Tunde. so you know i'm so happy to have him here today thank you so much for being here sir yeah i'm so glad to be on this platform like uh, very very happy and so excited to be here glory to god thank you so much for coming so like i said already today we'll be talking about academic excellence and then how we can balance all of these things so the sweetest part is that mr alesh noyetunde is a first class graduate i mean he's a first class graduate ha! Of the, in, in the university of ilori mathematics department so that is one thing so sweet and amazing so today i'll be asking him a few questions and then he'll be giving us answers you know we are not going to be rigid i'll, I'll be so flexible as much as i can so i'll be throwing to him now i want to throw it now i'll be throwing to him my very very first question all right so i'll read so tell us how school was for you as a student basically your undergraduate days hmm. thank you so much uh miss adivike uh this one you say you want to throw something to me. I hope it's not a bullet. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I was it my undergraduate uh, studies. Uh, sincerely, it's all on God. Mm. Like I believe everything that happened to me happened based on what God has planned. It's like a plan work. Mm. I'm just like uh, I'm just the only two. Like I'm a tool in His hand. So it happened and it's. Cause like the way I don't even expect it. Really? Actually, being an undergraduate it wasn't easy. Right. I like uni lorry. I see. Uh, like I better, say, really. better, better, better by, by stress. stress. <laughs> <laughs> so now we'll be moving on to the second question, and then it goes thus. Oh. I'm curious right now. What was your first CGPA in your Andre level days? Wow. Uh, well, my first CGP, then my first semester, then second semester, the CGP was um, 4.42. Whoa, do you mean like your first semester was your GP 4.42? Like the first semester 4.42. Okay, so yeah. how about your second semester? Yeah, second semester I had, um, is it 4.39? 4. Mm -hmm. 4.39. I think it's... It's 4.3 now, 4.41. Okay. I can remember, but the CGPA then was 4.41. Wow. So your, C, your CGPA. The CGPA, the second semester, will, should be 4. Point, if I can remember, well, is that 4.3 now? Okay. 4.41. 4. 4. Okay. Then uh, um, this GPA after the first year is 4.41. Wow. Like I remember that. It's, it's, um, in your 200 level. My hundred level, level. level. So level. your first semester and your second semester, the cumulative now, let's say it's four point four one. Four point four one, like okay. first year, the GP is four point four one. Okay, I think you know <laughs> you, you were not even on first class. Of course, not 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 on first class. My first year, second year, third year, 
Uh, I was struggling with two one. Really? Yeah. But then <laughs> there are some two one that <laughs> they are not just ordinary two yeah. one. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. But basically, I've been four point four one as your CGPA. Mm. You know, it, and I think it actually gave you that higher chance of you know, you know, being able to eventually make a first class at the end of the day. Sure, you're right. Uh, being on four point something wasn't really enough if you haven't get that peak uh, if i what i mean by peak is 4.5 and above to uh at, to have your first class but then uh you know I, i've seen so many people that they started with a very strong gp a very strong 2-1 mm. gp like 4.4 something and on the long run they didn't really uh, Cross, the yeah, they didn't class. really. They were able to cross to that four point five and above, mm. and I, I seen someone that graduated to four point four six. Whoa! Yeah, it, we we started six. together like that too, and it happened. You know, uh, everything happened based on uh, the ambition, fine, and the goal, mm. and how can you actualize the goal, and what do what can you do to make sure you meet up target. It's just like a target; mm. you have to meet up the target. So. Mm. Mm. To call this luxury short, it's been God. Wow. It's been God, sincerely. I never thought I would graduate with a first class, but it's been God. Really? It's been God. But then <laughs> let's 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 be realistic now. You know, we can't always say uh, God will do it for me and then we don't play our part. Sure, sure. Okay. Let's say you were on a very strong two one. Okay. Like a very strong one that, you know. You know, like it's all, the the chances of eventually graduating with a first class was actually you know kind of sure okay. because your 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 two was very strong. Yeah. So now, was it that during this period you cancelled every other things? Maybe you stopped going to church, or maybe you said because I bet people say. School are real love. The school we sent you to don't grab a dream on the geo and that the geo in school. Was it that you know because from our conversation uh, and I know I know truly that you are a believer. Sure, so sure, was sure. it that you know you had to cancel church and church activities and then only go to church on Sundays yeah. and then so that you can focus on uh, no. on your academics. Uh, no. I I know quite well that the primary assignment on campus as a student mm -hmm. is to face your studies yes, and yes. nothing else should come along time. Mm -hmm. But then I'm this kind of person, I'm a church type, I'm a church boy, okay. I'm a lover of God okay. and there's no way uh, I'll be in church and I'll not work. Mm -hmm. So uh, I work actually and I can tell you my under level, my trunder level, my in my church I became an ESCO. Wow. I was, I was, I was a youth president. 200 um, level? Yeah, level to, to 300 level, yeah. I was wow. a youth president and alongside, I became the um, JAMA coordinator. Oh. And you, you you can really know how that can be so demanding. Like yeah, yeah. Being the youth president at the same time, the JAMA coordinator, you know. Wow. You have to go to church virtually like four to five days in a week. Wow. And then we, we, do, we do have VG. Wow. I can remember there's this time my uh, 200 level or 300 level, we had uh, 21 days VG in my church wow. and that time happened to be our exam time. So I, I don't miss VG and I still go back, like go back home to read for exam every serious? day like that. For all the exams, we yeah. had VG like all through. But in, did that not eventually affect your health? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fine, fine. My health seems deteriorating, mm. but then I I think I have the back up. Mm. Since God can see that, okay, this guy, man, mm. this guy is doing my work and okay. he's being diligent at what he's doing. It's right, not like right. they have this double mind. Okay. I'm serving God with one mind. At the same time, I know that's what I'm giving back to God, then I will get from Him. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you that semester happened to be one of the best semesters. So on J level. Yeah, absolutely. So what was your GP in first semester to on J level? Okay, my GP first semester to on J level. Something happened then I dropped from four point four one wow. to something like four point two. No, I think you know, we are still talking about four 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 four. four yeah, it's four, still yeah. four 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 actually. Wow, wow. It's still four four. Yeah. Actually it was from four 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 to four point five something and wow. four point six something. Wow, like. wow. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, uh, that turned the level, 
I would say this, you know, uh, your association sometimes will determine your result. Mm. I go myself associated with some of my friends, I accommodate some of my friends with me. My under level I stay alone actually, I don't really have room. Ah, it wasn't really easy. I had room to under level and okay. things change, you know. The kind of, I don't know, the background, there's these differences within the background. My own kind of person, I'm this church guy. Okay. And they, you know, they are mixed up. They can go to party, they drink and stuff like that. But what can you say about that other person's academics? Like, was the person excelling or... Sure. I was able to influence that guy. Okay, to so always study. Yeah, because, you know, you know what happens when you have two in a room? If one person is doing something, and you're you always want it. to be yes, teach her. Yes, you'll like, be So, once you see me, so I, was, I, I can say I, I, I impart in, in one way or in a better way. When, mm -hmm. when you see me pray, you also wake up to pray wow. at night. When you see me read, like I can read for longer and you'll be like, wow. guy, wait till now. You also wake up to read too, wow. so stuff like that. But then that didn't really stop him from, you know, some hearts like that that myself I can't really uh condone and it's really affecting me. Wow. It's getting to a level that I have to leave home mm. to read in church, you know, wow. at night in the cold. Wow. With with all this mosquito. Wow. So crazy so, mosquito. So even you saying that <laughs> uh, God, 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 God. Of course, we know the God factor can never leave the the sure. situation. Sure, sure. Without God, anything great can never be possible. Sure. But then I would love you to tell us your CGPA at 300 level. Okay. I can remember you were still on four points. Sure. First, 100 level, sure. then 200 level again. Four points. So, what happened to your three hundred level? Okay, three hundred level happens to be uh, my year of transformation. Okay. You know, um, I said earlier that my roommate mm -hmm. happens to really like the relationship really affect my performances. Okay. I think for my three hundred level, I should have my first class. If at all, I didn't have that kind of association. Okay. You know, from four point four one down to four point two. My 300 level, but my 300 level, mm -hmm. you know, I had to make the decision. Sometimes there are some decisions we make that would really change things around her. So, mm -hmm. the decision I made that I remember there was I have to tell my women that oh, we can't really continue because mm -hmm. I, I, I have targets and I have to meet up my targets. I draw the plan even before coming to uni, learning that okay, mm -hmm. guy, you must graduate to first class. Because really? I have no chance to graduate first class. Because really? uh, where I was coming from, I went to polytechnic and I, oh, was it okay? You you already <laughs> had a degree. Of course, I went to the technique wow. and I, I had my uh, OND in the electrical and electronic engineering. Whoa. So, and uh, I graduated with decision, even the overall best student then. Whoa. I was like, God, if you can do that at an wow. engineering school, then uh, more. Mathematics shouldn't yeah, be Yeah, mathematics shouldn't be anything. Wow. Because, you know, as an engineer, you maths is just like a subset to, yeah, yeah, to yeah. us. And there's no way you be an engineering student that you won't really be good, good in mathematics. In mathematics. Yeah, so, true, true. So, I'm like, God. Nothing that is for the first class. Mm. But first year, it wasn't coming. Second year, it wasn't coming. It wasn't coming. Third year, yeah. Third year it, wasn't right. coming. it wasn't coming. You know, there's one thing about the University of Illinois <laughs> that when you get to 400 level, you don't get to see your results. Of, of course. So 400 level first, 400 level first semester, you don't get to see your results. Sure, sure. You don't even know if you have carryovers. Sure, sure. You don't even know if you are going to graduate. Sure, sure. Even second semester. So sure. it only takes yeah. the grace of God that even if the result is released at the end of the day, and then you see congratulations. Congrats. You have you yeah, know you you your name as a fan of the graduating list yeah. and yeah. all of that. You are dealing with so -so -so class, exactly. class in so -so departments. So -so exactly. Course, blah, blah, blah. So if saying now that <laughs> it wasn't even a first class on your level, two on your level, and even three on your level, mm -hmm. okay, let's just secretly assume that it's four on your level sec it's, it's four on your level results helped him. But then I would love to go back to the the part you said things changed for you in your 200 level i mean because of your roommates yeah. that you were influenced yeah you know i would love to point out something very important there and you talked about being in the in the in the uh, in the midst of people who who see things the way you do you know you made a statement that your gp dropped sure. am i right sure, sure. that your gp dropped sure. to 
4.2 from 4.41 to 4.2. Wow, 4.2 from 4.41 from 4 to 4.2 is quite a distance. It's quite a distance. It's quite a distance. It's quite and you know <laughs> it's like it's really really difficult. To rise is not a joke. It's really really difficult. So one thing you should know about Mr. Halesh, I call him Mr. Halesh. Yeah. Halesh <laughs> so, uh, so his name is Mr. Today, so but then the short form for yeah, his I love name it. Alesh, Mr. Love it. Alesh. Yeah, like, Mr. It's so Alesh. Sweet now. It's just sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Alesh, you know, he was actually influenced, even despite the fact that he was brilliant. At some point he lost focus. Sure. So one thing Mr. Alesh is indirectly telling you now that be cautious and be careful of the people you surround yourself sure, with sure. if truly you want to achieve academic excellence sure. you really need to be strategic about the people you move with sure. if you move with people who don't believe in success if you believe in people who say na mumu they read you will become that mumu and lead to yourself failing and all of that so it is really really important mr alesh you also talked about you um you formally being in a polytechnic i mean yeah. you graduated sure. from a polytechnic sure. and then you did electrical engineering sure. and then you came to university of Illinois yeah. and then to study mathematics yeah. are you getting like i want my viewers to actually get the connection between these two courses mr alesh found his strength you know we might say, yeah, he graduated with his, with a first class, but then he found his strength in the sense that he did get electrical engineering, yeah. of course, which involves mathematics. Sure. And then he came to the university, university of Illinois, and then became a champion, you know, <laughs> because he understood his strength. So I would love to move to the next question, and then we proceed. Okay. The next question now is that, um, Mr. Alesh, yes, there's something about... Um, people say the higher you go, the lower your GP drops. I mean, if you are formerly in four point, maybe four point zero in hundred level, and then you move to two hundred level, you drop to three point five. You move to three um, hundred level, you move to two point zero, and all of that. Do you actually believe in that? Um, in that, what will I call it now? Like a phenomenon. Yeah. Do you actually <laughs> believe in that? statement of mm. the higher you go the the lower your gp becomes what exactly can you say about that to my viewers yeah i can uh, boldly tell you that i disagree with that uh, um, statement or or, or hypothesis mm. that uh, the higher you go the lower your gp it's actually very wrong very very wrong because i believe that the higher you go the higher your gp should be mm. depending on you you know as for me, I uh, if if you are visionless, then the higher you go, the lower the GP. But mm. if you are vision, definitely you have a plan, you have a goal, and then um, you keep on pursuing the goal. To me, when I was in hundred level, I was happy that well I start with a good GP. Mm -hmm. Fine, four point four one. It's a good way to start. It's the mm -hmm. very very best way to start mm -hmm. from five point. Mm -hmm. Now my two hundred level. I, I met with those I met and um, I, it GP drops, jobs. it drops. It's not really my joy, it's not something that gives me joy that mm -hmm. will happen from 4.41 mm -hmm. to 4.42. Then my 300 level, this is what happened. I make that decision that no matter what happens, this 4.4, 4. 4.2 must rise up again. Mm. Like I must leave that spot. Like mm -hmm. I, 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 I choose to go higher. Mm -hmm. Then I, I, then I have some plans. I have some things I do, like telling my roommate that guy, sorry, uh, we can't continue with this uh, relationship. Mm -hmm. I need to stay alone because I know if I can have my privacy, mm -hmm. so there's nothing so impossible. Because I'm a child of God, there's nothing so impossible. There's that GP. Is not God. No matter how high it is, I can get to that place and yeah, even more. So that's I, the spirit. so I have that spirit mm. actually. Then mm. I, 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 I worked on it. I worked on myself. I look at okay, what are my weaknesses? Okay, my weakness is me having a roommate. Okay, 
I clear up that weakness and I I, I still learn. I when I still alone, I observe that I even have more time to, to study, study alone. You know, sometimes I even want to pray. You mm. know, the roommate that I might I might want to pay praise or read sometimes and my roommate is doing something else. All those things comes with huge distraction and someone mm. like me I hate distraction to tell you right. once I'm distracted you know I tend not to do things effectively okay. but uh, once I can uh, take away distraction forget it I can do things and I always have results I always have results mm. result. mm. and as this is I do after I say that okay what's happened to my under level to under level what's happening okay after I take away the issue of learning mm -hmm. I try to Retardize. Okay, what is happening? What can you do? What plans can you do? And I, I use this uh, method. I call okay. it SWOT. SWOT. Yeah, X W O T. S W O T. Yeah. Okay. The S there is the strength. Strength. W is the weakness. Weakness. The O there is the opportunity. Opportunity. And the T is the threat. Threat. SWOT. Okay. Yeah, okay. SWOT. So now. Everybody has their strength. Yes. In my department, we have different branches. We have functional, okay. we have numerical, okay. we have modeling, in mathematics. In mathematics. So you can choose to go for numerical sure, sure. and then you can choose to go for of course. any other one. It's just like okay. your specialty. So okay. we have okay. all those branches. Okay. And um, in terms of weakness, they, I, I love numerical, I love numerical, I love complex analysis. Mm. Okay. Well, I can say I'm not that good in functional, but it's a must for you to pass, you know. Mm. Okay, that part can be a weakness to me. Mm -hmm. Then the part that I know that this is my strength, this mm -hmm. this area, even if it's calm, when I was sleeping and uh, someone just tapped me up, or you are start saying something about this, I can say I can go all in. Mm. So this is what I do. All the, the strength, I look at my strength, I look at my weakness. Mm -hmm. Then after I locate the strength, I give more time or more energy to, to your strength. To my to my weakness. To your weakness. To my weakness. Because okay. I know my strength is there. Okay. Anytime, any day, I'm there. Okay. But that weakness, I know the weakness can cost can really affect my strength. Okay. If I don't really take much cognizance to that weakness, then okay. definitely it will affect my strength. strength. Okay. So I give more time to those weaknesses. Okay, okay. <laughs> so meaning that if I'm my strength okay. in the course, like let's say, for example, I have numerical analysis, like two of my courses for that semester is numerical analysis. Okay. If I should read that in a day, one hour, definitely I will give double of that time to the weaknesses. Okay. So okay. now if I have a course, let's say 332 three, now, okay, okay, that one is really not, it's my strength. I have strength to be like, okay. I can do things well, like without much challenges. So okay. I give just lesser time to that because I know even little time I give, I, 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 it's, it's not a problem for me. Mm -hmm. Then I give more time to that. My weakness is mm. then mm. from there you see that everything now comes to equilibrium. It's mm. balanced. Yeah. That's how I balance up. And there's another thing I used to I used to make an extra note. Mm. I can say this note is just like a powerful tool. Really? Even my colleagues, my so colleagues, use my material. That extra note I make. And really? most of them do come and say, guy, you know for this your material, I don't go pass. Is it that the lecturers give you the materials or you get to formulate your materials by yourself? Okay, this is what happened. After I get hold of the lecturer's notes, okay. I would sit down. It, okay. it do take me a long process. I'll sit down, I'll read through the material back. To back okay. and after that uh, i'll sit and summarize it all in wow. a way that if you uh, it happened that i summarized a note of page worth of 109 to um 22 pages wow like the wow. note is bulky 109 i read all and i summarized to 22 pages That's imagine you reading a note of 22 pages and compared to that of 109 so after then and i have my head Mm. And that's how I, 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 I don't like, I don't really, I work smart. Mm. I don't really work hard. Okay. So working hard sometimes doesn't pay. Work smart. Okay. Work smart. Working smart is me reading my summary because I have faith in God and I have faith in that summary that mm. if I can get hold of my summary, even mm. if it's one hour to that exam and I have, I have nothing in my head, if I can read that summary, forget it. You're good to go. I'm good to go. Okay. And you talked about working smart and then not, not working hard. Can you tell us how many hours you use, you know, how, how, many, how, many, how many hours you spend in reading your books? I mean, do you like use two hours or was it that you had 
a particular timetable that you you follow daily maybe today okay. i'll read numerica this is this, this maybe yeah. tomorrow or maybe from 10 to 11 <laughs> was it that you know was it that you you chose to read in the morning and they'd be like i'm not an half to need person ah it's only money it's only in the morning i can assimilate like tell us the strategies okay okay this is what happened okay there's no time i can read. let me start from there there's no time i can't read i can read in the morning okay i can read in the afternoon okay. i can read at night but okay. preferably preferably i love reading at night at the middle of the night like okay i i you know the serene yeah everywhere is quiet and of peaceful course, of course yeah another thing is this this is the major tragedy i don't read that much Okay. You see, once we start the semester, my first four week, like mm. the first four week, I'm going to work hard. It's just like a mm. farmer. First you just have to weeks. prepare the land before you start planting and stuff really? like that. And you, of course. So at the beginning of the semester, you start to read? At the beginning, it, hey. at the first week, like my first four week, I work very hard. And the serious? remaining weeks are always like free. I don't really, read. I don't really read. And this is what I do in my first four week. Uh, my first four week, I will ensure I gather all the material for the semester. Yeah. I will read through and I will do my summary. And wow. once I'm done with my summary, I'm done reading for the semester. Whoa. So let us come, let us come, I'm good to go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, many students actually try to wait till test and exam no, period. No, no, you no, know, no. It, there's always this feeling of, oh, school just resumed, oh, Jerry. No, okay. No. So now, Mr. Halesh telling us now, I mean, a graduate, telling, a first class graduate, <laughs> telling us now that he starts reading at the beginning of every semester. True. I mean, <laughs> that's so awesome. And anyone, anyone who is consistent with that should expect results. Of course. Wow, of course. that's, that's You'll really definitely see results. Because uh, practically, mm. after that fourth week, okay. this is what I do. I, I, I said I don't trade after the first week. Once my material is ready, mm. fine. I, I don't miss lecture. That's okay. even if I have the material ready. Mm. Perhaps I can get the previous note to form my own material because in my department they we do have this like the note they used the previous year. Okay. They still continue with that and um, we can easily have access to So they don't change materials yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah, some, okay. not all. And for those that don't change material, it's very, very easy for you okay. to get material from the okay. previous student. And from there, it makes it very easy for me to form my material. Once I have my material, okay. I'll just go to class to refresh what I have already read. Exactly. Like, it's just like a refreshment. Wow. Like, I'll just see lecturer in class and just like, oh, you are refreshing what I know wow. already. These are seen, these are, you no, know, I've read these. Wow. It's just like a refreshment. Class has always been like, a kind of refreshing time for me. But really, class. but there times that you stopped classes because somebody told me that now Mumu they always attend every lecturer oh. class. But there times you had to stop a particular class. Well, I would read up, Jerry. Did you ever had to, you know, stop any class whatsoever? Thank you, Ma. See, I have every reason not to attend classes. Okay. Because what's the, what's the essence of going to class when I have the material ready? Mm -hmm. But then I don't I don't look at that direction. Even though I have my material okay. and I have everything set for the semester, I still mm -hmm. attend lecture and I never miss lecture. Even when I'm sick, I still have to make sure I make class. Wow. No matter the condition, I never miss class. Wow. Like I always come early to class to so ensure that I sit at the front. Wow. Like I always like I'm, they knows me in the family that wow. just, just leave the seat. Now I sit with that. Wow, so everyone in the family knows <laughs> you yeah, that. That, 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 wow. that's the seat. Just leave it for wow. you. So that's I, awesome. I always sit at the front. No matter what, even if I've covered the, the whole course, wow. I still have to attend classes. And why am I doing this? At least I've covered wow. this let me refresh this oh this was my refreshment. Like really? like it's just like refreshment, you know you just like you're stressed and you go out to, wow. to, to have fun wow. you, you have like a cook and a snack that's how class always look really? like to me at least wow. like that's like, that's like, that's, like, yeah. that's really amazing <laughs> sure. okay now i would love to ask you was it that you were a full-time student or was it that you had um you had time that you know you had to leave school to work you know to be able to sponsor yourself i mean or was it that you were always getting 
you know, money all the time from your parents. You were always sending you money and all of that. Were you a full time student, or you were sometimes working and then at some point was in the class and all of that? Okay, I'm this kind of person. As soon as I leave home okay. and I get my um, pocket money, as they say, okay. that's the end. <laughs> so that means don't call so the, your I don't, I don't call home. I don't call home for money, wow. for assistance. Wow. The only thing that once I get my school fee, and that's that's all. Wow. Like I get my school fee paid, that's all. Wow. And I, this is what I do. I do business. I'm into business. Wow. I do online business. I sell data. Wow. And I'm also into another brand. Wow. <laughs> like I have two or three brands like that. I'm a tutor. I wow. teach to them. Wow. Like I teach them. And this all this I didn't really allow me to affect my lecture time. Okay. So as I'm giving much attention to my business, okay. I also give much more attention to my academy. Okay. And this as in the, 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 the two don't really affect like okay. there's okay. there's no time that one really have to affect the other. I it's called time management actually. Okay. I learned to manage my time and everything work well. <laughs> no, so that's that's really amazing. So it wasn't that you know you had it all figured out, being able to you know get everything you want from your parents, and then so there were times that you had to sponsor yourself, sure. do everything sure. yourself. So there is really no excuse for anybody not to succeed academically. Sure. Sure. Am I there's, correct? There's no excuse. Uh, you see, um, I I see myself as a big boy. Sorry to say, big boy, like, like you know, you're like, mature. Yeah, I would like, I would like to call would you be calling your parents yeah, all the time. All the time that, oh, yeah, send me money. No, I, I don't have to do that. Mm. Sometimes, my if my mom will call, hello, can I get something from you? And immediately, like, immediately, I send to her. Wow. Like, I send to her. So, sometimes you, you have to send to your parents of course. at home. Of course, wow. I do that often. Wow, I even being often. a student. Yeah, I do that often. Wow. And uh, this this happened because of the experience I had. I I want to set a space that after school I will be independent. Mm. Then let me start that why being you are still in school. In school. Yeah. So I I do tell them at home that oh my mom I come home I call home one day and um, I told mom she said she missed me come home I said mom I don't have a room. Wow. That room doesn't belong to me anymore. Yeah. Now I I, yeah, I have an apartment wow. here in wow. Lori. So wow. forget about the room I have at home. So wow. stuff like that. She'll be like, what's going come home? That's not coming home. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. What do you need? Do you need something? I said, I, I do ask her conveniently, Mom, do you need something? Mm -hmm. You know, stuff like that. She just smiles sometimes. Like, what kind of child are you? Wow, that's, that's, that's really <laughs> amazing. You know, I, I would want us to talk about people who are having issues with their academics okay. in the sense, sorry excuse me okay. sorry in the sense that um yeah as you can see i have a different background today <laughs> yes i had to you know look for this space to meet with mr Hylish. so let me thank him again thank you again for coming so let's talk about people who have issues with their academics okay. i mean people who have carryovers okay even being on jail level students okay. do you think it's actually possible to be on maybe two two Okay. And then eventually graduate with, with the first class. Is okay. it is it possible? Yeah. And, and then you have carryovers. Okay, okay. Yeah, and I would love, I would want you to even you know deal with the issue of carryover. Okay. Because carryovers seem to be something difficult. Okay. I mean, it, it, it sometimes lead people to depression that's, that's true, because that's true. you know, like carryover is not just it; it's not good. At all, that's, that's what do you think you can tell people like that? And, and I mean, an advice for them those, those that have given up on their GP that okay. feel like, man, I don't think I can make this again. Okay. What exactly can you tell them? Okay, the first thing I would say is that um, there's nothing so impossible mm. as I do say, the word says says impossible. Mm. So, if you first thing is this try as much as you can to avoid carryover, that's carry the first over. thing as a student. <laughs> <laughs> you see, having a carryover, you know how it is. You attended lectures, several pain, several reading, lectures, reading and, and the stress. Then to carry that course again, then you like you have to go back again. It's meeting, not easy. It's it's the first thing is just avoid it if possible. And the second thing now, if it happens, what can you do? The first thing you can do. Ah, uh, let me talk from experience. I have one of my school daughter, 
she had carried over. This is how we we fought together actually. She came to me, and that's how uh, I I became a school father. Though after she had the carry over, I think about two or three like that. Whoa, three carry over. She she had three carry over, and she graduated with two one. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I DP I DP when I met her. I DP was um uh, one is it one point eight now or so? Oh seriously? Yeah, she graduated with two one. That's a number level. I she think one point eight nine is yeah. like third class. Of course, Third class and, and she, then the person going there with she got, second class she, on par. She got it over to one. Whoa. Though uh, it doesn't really happen like boom. Uh, like the process is kind of long and the road is kind of tall and yeah. rough. So this is what happened. After she had the carryover, uh, one thing you won't be happy. Failure is not something that gives you joy. You'll be depressed. And oh this God just used me for her that okay, by that time I I, I came into her life. And I keep on pushing her. Mm. Like Any time I read, I call her a lawyer. Stand up, read, read, stand up, read. Mm. Now, before you know it, she had to forget that sadness. Mm. Then she gather up her strength. Mm. And every time I go to class, we always sit together in wow. class, in class, we attend lecture. Anytime I make up the material I do make every semester, she'll be the first to say that I need to do it. And you know what she she does most time? She don't read the class notes. Say, in as much as I can read that the lesson notes, I'm okay. Wow. And she will read, and before you know, she she begin to have A's. Are you A's, serious? A's, A's, and now she got to the first class. Wow. So nothing is so impossible. One thing you can do is that once you have carryover, once you have carryover, first thing is student tends not to they feel like I'm big. I will like they are attending that class. Then those my younger ones will see me in class or mm. like they'll be like ah she don't carry or you don't carry course. So you don't need to do that. Once you fail, what you need to do is to okay, how can you, you how can I come up again? Mm. Because if you remain on the floor, you just be there. Mm. You kind of like you don't stay on the floor. Mm. You try to rise up again. It's just like a little child trying to walk. Yeah. You know, by the time at his first attempt, he will rise up and fall, rise True. up and fall, and he won't stay on the floor. Yeah, he if keeps he stay, rising. Yeah, it keeps rising, and before you know, he start he walking, he start. Yeah, after he start walking a bit, and before mm. you know, he start jumping, start running True. all around, and that's how it will be. So you don't miss that class. Ensure you get the updated notes. Do because I, I've, I've carried this. Fine, you've carried it. There's nothing you can do. Then you have to. You have to pass and that, 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 that's not the, the available so option. So don't miss lecture. Our advice, my advice is don't miss lecture. And ensure you don't even miss test. A lot of carry of us they don't even know when the lecturer fix test time. And that is why you see students carry a course over and over again. And then they they reach their final year. Yeah. As soon as a student like that, he carried this course. I I, I, I taught him tutorial in the tutorial in the level. He carried that course from his under level. And I heard that because of that, he, he spewed because of that same course, the mathematics course like that. And what happened, what I saw in him is that he got this call that, mm. okay, I don't carry this course. I'm that's tired. The end. And he's doing fine in other courses. Mm. And because of this same course, You know, spewed. I think there might be this, you know, thought pattern already. You know, he just, because he has carried the course over and over again, mm. Probably it began to build fear around that cause. I began to see that sure. cause as something almighty sure, sure. and big. Sure, fear, fear is another thing you should watch out for. There's nothing. One thing, if I if I tell you that I I boldly go into exam hall mm. with no fear. Wow. Even sometimes, you know, I told you, I also have weaknesses. There's no way we are human beings. We have weaknesses. Yeah. I have some courses that I know that are oh, this course, eh? but then I don't see any course as weakness. In as much as I can, I can pick point it mm. initial at the initial stage that this is my weakness and I walk towards it before you need to become my strength. Really? I convert weaknesses to strength. Indeed. So what people do is that. If you do, if you can't convert your weakness to your strength, mm -hmm. definitely that weakness will come back at you wow. big time, and that's why you see them carrying the course over, over and, and over. And so again. say no to fear. Say no to fear. Don't be afraid. Believe and, in yourself. Yeah, believe in yourself. In a sense that you can do your best attending the lecture and be updated. It's not as if you miss lecture and um, you know you are doing your best and you are praying. Prayer works. Prayer works actually. Prayer works actually. You know because I've experienced, I've seen people who <laughs> actually did well in their exams and mm. then at the end of the day, maybe school comes up and then they say missing script 
or mass failure or like all of be, those things. You have to pray. Yeah. You have to pray. As, a child, as a child of God, as a child of God, as I am, I don't joke with prayer. Mm. I don't joke with prayer. And uh, you ask the other time, how do I balance it? Your spiritual life and then your academics. Sincerely, it's more consuming. Mm. This is there are three things inside the inside the basket: my spiritual life, the business life, mm. and my academic. Mm. So I put in. So some people will say, and then put put sixty percent in your academic. Have perhaps twenty percent in your spiritual life, right. and the other percent to your social mm, life. True. Forget it, forget it. I put more percentage into my spiritual life. I can boldly say that, mm. and then it pays. Mm. I'm not saying that you should be spiritual and, and neglect your primary assignment. Yeah. The one thing is to be spiritual, and another thing is to know what you are up to. Your now, vision, yeah, holding yeah. on to your of vision. Course, of course, yeah. I never allow my spirituality to affect anything pertaining to my academic. academics. So yeah. I attend classes and that doesn't really stop me from attending church program. Mm. Even as a post I have in church, I don't miss service. Wow. I'm not permitted to. Wow. Because if I miss service, Be the then, like as a leader, of course, as a yeah. leader, I need to serve. I wow. need to, to lead like a servant. Wow. So I can't miss program. And then I stay out most time for my academics. Wow. Wow. You see, and one thing is, one thing is this, it made me give more time. I've seen so many Students are more spiritual and they give more time to like it is God, the spiritual God, 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 life God. and then they fail to balance of course, the you, academics with it. You can yeah. tell me that God, please go help me. I need to pass, make me successful in and this. Exam. Not and you are not part. doing your part, you are yeah, not reading. Yeah, you are you're just you know, you are sleeping for hours. It's just like you a farmer that plants nothing and is expecting to make an harvest. No, you it's not can possible. never True. you didn't plant anything, there's and anything then, I not to harvest. It leads to people blaming God, along with Da, along with Bulu, and all of that. Not knowing that, you know, the, the person wasn't the one that really didn't pay attention Definitely. to his or her academics. Definitely. So, there's, there's a balance to this thing. Just balance everything. They say all work and no play makes Jack, makes Jack a dog boy. Dog boy. <laughs> so, play, study, sure. work smart, don't work hard. So it is not about when everybody's going for night class. You have to go for night class too. I don't it is not class. about everybody <laughs> going for night class and then by fire by force I must I'm go for night lost. class. No. Not, know not. your strength. Mr. Not. Mr. Alex talked about SWAT. Your yeah. strength, your weakness, your opportunity, and then your threat. What are those things threatening you? Understand them, analyze them. Yeah. This thing is not hard. But sometimes we just paint it to be hard. Sure. So just you know, follow all of these things Mr. Alesh has, has talked about and then, you know, trust God that he helps you. Sure. So he talked about he being a business person even while in school. So he didn't just face his academics and then he got into business and then he balanced it with his spiritual life and then he plays too, I'm sure. So it's not that uh, book, 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 book. Because even if you do book, book, book and then you graduate and then you have nothing to offer. You don't have a good relationship with people. You know, it might just eventually lead to a waste of time. So this is a testimony from a first class graduate. So this is not them say them say. This is something he applied to his life, and then it really helped him. It worked. So. God helping you, God helping us, put all of these things into practice and then, you know, God will see us all through. And if you have challenges, that for me now, I have courses that are clashing. I have sometimes about three to four courses clashing at the same time. So, there are some classes I skip. I'm unable to go for some classes. I just have to miss some classes. But then, nobody cares about your excuse. Everybody wants success story sure. nobody cares whether or not you have four classes uh, four classes clashing you nobody cares Exa at no yeah. at all yeah. nobody wants your excuses mm. just learn to balance everything and then pray and then trust god and don't always just put everything on god you will say, hey, God, you know that I'm singing for you. You know I'm a worker in your church. Oh. Don't let me fail for this exam. I'm not, I'm not ready for this exam. Don't let me fail. No, it doesn't work that way. God is not a magician. He works with principles. So read. And then God, 
do your be, do what only you can do. So with these things we've talked about, we trust God that God leads you, God guides you, and Amen. God guides you. Amen. So, Mister Alesh, I really want to say a very big thank you. Or is there another thing you would love, you would, you would love to tell the viewers? I know it's so sad to say that everything is attainable. There's nothing so impossible. Mm. There's nothing you can do. Right. You can put your mind to it and mm. believe in God. Mm. Everything is just so possible. Mm -hmm. So this is, no matter how the mountain, uh, uh, how high the mountain is, you can climb the mountain and even see the spirit like how mm. wide it is. So right. nothing is so impossible. I always believe that everything is possible. You can achieve anything, anything you want everything. to achieve. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> and seek help whenever you need to. Of course. Don't cover your mouth up. Whenever mm. you have whenever you have problems, carryovers, anything. Mm. Speak to someone who knows this thing so well. And don't speak to people that are so you know negative that ah they may not carry cost you know, me to I carry sure. that cost. Sure, sure. Those kind of people will not help you. Of course. So speak with the right set of people, mm -hmm. move with the right set of people, mm -hmm. move with people that will encourage you, mm -hmm. that will help you become mm -hmm. a better person. Mm -hmm. And doing all of these things which that God helps you in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So on this note, we would love to close this video. Thank you so much for watching today. Bye. Bye. <laughs>